Radical. Welcome to Radical Rabbit Horror Combat Response for November 29th through December 5th, 2021. Short comments, quick replies. Augustus McMillian. I'm buying it. <laughs> I just had to give you a hearty laugh because you're buying that that thing to stick on your Switch, the $350 thing that's as much as a Switch, to put on your Switch to make your Switch screen bigger. It's just a screen. It's got some speakers on it, but it's got to be like the most expensive, overly expensive add-on ever that ultimately, I mean, I mean, that's close to the cost of the PlayStation VR, isn't it? It's just a screen and you're buying that? Yeah. Silent Seary, Rick, with the year coming to its end, will the comments of the year be coming too? Radical tradition, a radical tradition, all community members are invited to the red carpet event. Yes, this would be the third one. Uh, the former would be Across the Room, one 2019 comment of the year. It was Haddington Rose at one 2020 of the year. So who's going to win the coveted comment of the year? That is the highest honor you can get. That actually is the platinum medal. So that's coming, but uh, I'm not rushing that because I really want to make sure I choose the right one there. Hayden Puds, laugh out loud that thumbnail. Still looking forward to the rest of your Amway story, Rick. I had one installment, right? I had one installment. I might have about maybe nine or ten installments, you know, because I have a lot to say. And, uh, you know, I'm not really going to rush that because a lot of that, a lot of this Amway story actually kind of framed uh, a lot of who I am right now. I mean, a lot of it, seriously, you know. Patrick Hewitt, it's kind of buggy. There are spots that won't let you progress, like items and NPCs that won't spawn. Funny thing is I got Mass Effect Andromeda for 99 cents from GameStop. And free shipping. Yeah, so you said that the, the shipping, also you went on to say the shipping was actually more than the game itself. Hey, listen, 99 cents? A game like Mass Effect Andromeda? For 99 cents, that's a hell of a deal. It is. And of course, it's not, I would say, a good Mass Effect game from everything I've seen. But I think they they cleaned up some of the uh, the bugs and whatnot. And they redid some of the faces and the cold dead eyes. Man, just seemed like yesterday I was recording, you know, that that line I said. Those cold dead eyes. Yeah. I got fond, fond nostalgia for uh, some of those 2017 uploads. Silver Music Box, good on you for being upfront about not finishing some of the games you play. It's better than lying to people saying that you beat all these games and act like a know-it-all when they don't know what they're talking about. Yeah, I easily could. I could say, like, I'm, I'm going to give you a review of Mass Effect Andromeda. Let me tell you how it is. But I haven't played it, you know. I've just heard what other people have said. And I feel honesty is a great policy on YouTube. And most games I have not played. There's a lot of games out there, and I haven't played most of them. You know? I haven't played half of the games out there. Some people, though, I mean, some people that just have no free time whatsoever are, uh, they have nothing but free time. They they play they played all the games, and they can tell you about all the games. But I'm not that guy. Uh, when it comes to certain games, like Shadow of Mordor, oh, I can tell you all about Shadow of Mordor, up, down, and sideways. I guarantee I might know the most about Shadow of Mordor of anybody outside of the creators of the game online. Sharky, this video is brought to you by Wada Games. Uh, this was a comment you left because I was criticizing the guy that uh, called out Wada Games, you know, and I found it interesting. I think the video was titled, Is This Guy Bigger E Bigger Than Metal Jesus? And the thing is, a lot of people might be shocked at that statement, but I was asking a question because Metal Jesus currently, I think, has a $5 Patreon tier, and that speedrunner, he has a higher Patreon tier. So I was basically just asking a question, as I often do. Now, do you think I have some kind of a connection to WADA? Are you that simple-minded that you can't see that? Some people are like that, you know, or what was it like? Uh, somebody, I was criticizing the quartering, but somebody came by and they said like, uh, you know, you're just a stinking leftist or whatever because I'm criticizing the quartering. Don't be, don't be thinking like just so simple-minded, okay? I criticize e-baggers sometimes. It's, it's just a thing. Deal with it, all right? Mr. Struggle. This may or may not be true, but regardless, what is undeniable is that Carl Jopes makes vastly superior content compared to MJR. 
Well, yeah, it's not even close. Carl Jobst, I will say, even though he might be a big of an, bigger of an e-beggar, at least on Patreon, he makes vastly superior content to MJR. I can 100% agree with that. Um, and I haven't even seen it like a lot of Carl Jobst uploads, but I can tell you, yeah. Uh, in fact, MJR, I would say, is one of the lowest quality content creators at his subscriber level. I would say that, you know, yeah. So 100% agree with that comment there. Arioka, the only reason MGR doesn't have a join option yet is because Google takes a larger percentage from the eBay money compared to Patreon. Uh, yeah, I think I replied also uh, to you, uh, but just going into this a little bit, I criticize, but also give props. Thing is, even though MGR is an eBagger, sure, I mean, you know, he has Patreon, he takes donations, and in the past he's definitely been a scammer, Sure, 100%. He could e-bag more. He could. He could have the join. But for whatever reason, he does not. So I just, I was just curious about that. I'm like, hmm, it's kind of weird that he doesn't have a join. So he could be a worse e-bagger than he is right now. Martyville. Ball shaving. Ball shaving shilling made me stop watching a video of his. I think you're referring to Carl Jobst, right? And I don't know how that got past YouTube. I have not seen that video that he's uh, shaving his. Oh, no, no. He, you mean not he's shaving him, but he has that that ball stuff. What is it called? What is that shaver called? I forget, but I know. So you said he's shilling. He's shilling for the shaving, the, the ball shaver. OK, OK, I got gotcha. you. Right. OK. Red Stress 97. Yeah. That's, uh, that's one reason why I'm considering getting into Xbox for my retro gaming needs soon. Their used games are much cheaper than PlayStation and Nintendo. I just wish they had more in the JRPG area. Not much in that genre with this company, but there are a few. Yeah, JRPGs, I would say, uh, what was it? The Tales of Symphonia, is that what it is on 360? And you had another one. It's hard for me to think of like the Xbox 360 JRPGs let alone the ones on the original Xbox. But I will say, if you want a deal when it comes to retro gaming, the Xbox games, a lot cheaper, generally, versus the Nintendo stuff and the PlayStation stuff. It's, yeah, I don't know why that is. I guess just the Xbox brand is not as big as a, or as, as a household name as Sony and Nintendo. Bo Clum, man! I just commented Boogie on good work for his latest dislike upload. As usual, whenever I compliment or recommend someone, I, I learn pretty soon bad things about them. Your upload helped remind me of that, so thanks. Usually I don't hear that. Usually people come by and they say, uh, how dare you ruin this YouTuber for me? I enjoyed this person. I enjoyed going to their channel, but then you expose some things about them. Um, I, I say, you know, it, it is what it is. And, I mean, the internet's a pretty big place. I'm actually kind of shocked, Bo Clum, that you didn't stumble upon some videos about Boogie or some Reddit threads about Boogie. Actually, look it up. I mean, yeah, the guy, the rabbit hole goes pretty deep on that guy. Stone Mexican guy. I heard Wings' old podcast co-hosts talk about him doing stuff like this. They say it's a way to profit off of his trolls. They're also grifters who beg for money and charge people 50 bucks to talk to them on Discord. It's an okay show. It's just I can't imagine why anyone would pay $50 to talk to someone. Well, there's people out there. There's weirdos out there. I mean, there might be two or three people that would pay 50 bucks to talk to me for a while. And that's kind of weird. It is kind of weird. It's kind of like the weirdos that would, you know, pay people money on Patreon for YouTube uploads. I mean, like a lot of money. There are these weirdos out there, but we're talking about YouTubers. That's an interesting thought. You wouldn't pay 50 bucks to talk to them on Discord, but really, would you pay $50 to talk to anybody? Like anybody. You know, I'm talking about like maybe sports stars, um, you know, musicians, like one of the Beatles. How much would you pay to talk to like one of the Beatles? You know, Mick Jagger, um, you know, some, some adult film stars. I mean, that might be an interesting conversation. You know, talk to Jenna Jameson. Well, not maybe Jenna Jameson. She's kind of probably getting up there right now. Uh, but who's that one? Khalifa, whatever her name was. You know, the one that uh, supposedly hooked up with Drake. Oh, hey, Drake. Would you pay $50 to talk to Drake? You know, like, hey, hotline bling. What were you really thinking? 
you know, when you were when you were creating Hotline Bling. That's a legendary song. Really? What were you thinking? Actually, I'm just kidding, you know. Uh, between one of the Beatles or Drake, I would probably, if I had to, like, so let's say I had to pay $50 to talk to somebody, I'd probably pay $50 to talk to Paul McCartney. I mean, I wouldn't, but if I had to. I don't think there's anyone I would really pay $50 to talk to. You know, I think I, I mostly enjoy listening to and talking to myself. Oh, 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 oh,